Ke shalom, shalom, kwa miyasa ala Kuhulu yamla, yahawa bahashim yawashai Bahashim rakah hakodash double honors To our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well And that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth And just want to say the water to all the akim and akwaf And that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments Of yahawa bahashim yawashai To the best of their ability This is Yah Hanan Nawab just coming at you with another quick lesson Praying that it's edifying by the spirit and wanted to touch on this article with the um, this mom here that, you know, I'm sure you may have heard about her that basically stabbed her significant other and threw the children out of a moving car and then, you know, ran into a tree and killed herself. And basically all because she believed that the eclipse that just passed was the apocalypse and everything. The world was about to end and all this other stuff. And this is why we go into the scriptures to let you know, hey, look. The customs of the people are vain. The Lord told us, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are Hebrew Israelites, that's your biblical nationality. He told us that the, the customs of these people, these nations are stupid as hell. They have nothing to do with nothing. And he told us, don't, don't get into what they're into. And that this is where, you know, she fell that, you know, nice looking young lady, handsome brother. You know what I'm saying? And she just, she just went haywire and fucking done up the family, man. I think except for one of the children. Okay, but it says, um, killer L.A. mom who stabbed partner, pushed kids out of moving car or murder-suicide, was reportedly terrified of world ending with the eclipse. The killer mom who butchered her boyfriend and pushed her kids out of a moving car before crashing into a tree Monday was once a prolific astrologer who was terrified of the impending apocalypse she believed the eclipse would incite, according to a report. Danielle Johnson, a popular astrologer influencer who went by the name of Danielle Ayoka online, warned her 106,000 followers to wake up and to pick a side in the days before she carried out a twisted murder-suicide that spanned several Los Angeles neighborhoods, law enforcement sources told the Los Angeles Times Wednesday. Wake up, wake up, the apocalypse was here. Everyone who has ears, to, who has ears listen. Your time to choose what you believe is now. So this is why, I, well, what does the scriptures talks about? It, it says in the last days that there will be scoffers, there will be mockers, there will be false teachers, there will be false prophets. And in this, this case, I would have to say maybe a, a false prophetess. Because there's a lot of people that's online that's got these followings. 106,000 people was following her. Ain't no telling what the other, what, what they done. You know what I'm saying? No telling what they done. But let me get this real quick. Cause this is one of the scriptures that and the, and the elders was going up into it. The brothers was going into it, telling the people, hey, look, man, <laughs> the eclipse is not the end of the world. It's a sign of heaven It's not the end of the world. We're in the beginning of sorrows. You know, the earthquakes, the wars, the rumors of wars, the nations against nations, kingdom against kingdom. Those types of things are happening. You know, the uh, the love of the uh, the love of many is waxing cold because iniquity shall abound. You still got the third woe to happen, which is World War Three. You still have the MOTB, which is the mark of the beauty and the beast still to come. There's a lot of things that's got to play out before the coming of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Now, are we close? Hell yeah, we close in the mug. See, but had she known the scriptures or her man had known the scriptures and had been able to just teach her. then But then, you know, she probably wouldn't have listened because that was just... That astrology shit is something serious, man. I can remember, this was way, way back before I came into the truth. Well before I came into the truth. And I had this um, this, this, this girlfriend finding a mug, man. I loved her. She loved me, whatever, whatever. But, man, she used to read, like, the little bullshit astrology shit in the newspaper. Those little clippings in the back. You know, just some bullshit artist that works for the newspaper. He's, you know, he's just going with the horoscope bullshit. Man, she used to believe that shit. She would believe it. If that thing said anything about some somewhat anything that had anything close to do with our relationship, I was cheating and whatever, whatever, you know, <laughs> she used to go hard. About it. I had to leave her alone because she was going too hard about that shit. It, she was bugged the fuck all out. She, the shit had her crazy. Bugged out. Pretty as shit. Fine as shit. Body out of this world. Crazy. And I had to leave her ass alone. <laughs> Straight up. But let's get this real quick. Jeremiah 10. I'm going to start from the top. And um, it's entitled A Satire on Idolatry. And in the NLT, New Living Translation, idolatry brings destruction. And that's exactly what she was into. That astrology shit, man, is idolatry. You see? Verse 1, it says, Hear ye 
Jeremiah 10 and 1, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So this is to the house of Israel, not to the other nations, because he's going to tell us, the Israelites, to not do what the other nations are doing because their customs are vain, which means that their customs are useless. They believe in false shit. They believe in gods that are that they need to dust off. They need to clean it. The bird shit on them. You know, you, you know, all these stones and statues and all that stuff. But people really believe in those particular types of gods. Right. Thus saith the Lord. Verse two. Thus saith Yahweh. That's the true name of the father, which means he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. Another one of those vain idols is Jesus. That, that white, that blonde hair, blue eyed white Jesus. People crazy over that shit. That, that shit. Because they're going to get destroyed for believing in that idol. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were saying. See, these other nations, they're going to, you know, get their demise anyway, especially the so called white man of the Americas. Because America is going to be completely nuked by everybody praying in the name of white Jesus. It's not going to help them. It's going to get them even in a worse situation. But there's going to be a lot of our people that's going to be praying and praying to this white Jesus when shit really hits the fans and it's not going to help them none. Because, like I said, even, even that's an idol. So the Lord is saying right here, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. See? Don't, don't like them. We're I done a lesson um uh, uh the day before yesterday I think it was I, they it was they said that it was like two thousand or so um car accidents and, and people you know or people just deleted from just traveling back and forth trying to travel to the shit and travel back and ain't no telling how many more people passed away from it you know just out on the road you know high as hills you know and, and acting like it's just fucking Fourth of July New Year's or some crazy shit traveling. Getting into car accidents. But the customs of the people are vain. See, had this lady known that, <laughs> she wouldn't have done the shit that she done. And, but those are those spirits of vengeance as well, though. She, uh, see, she was dealing in, 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 in a spiritual realm, so to speak, that she just didn't have, she didn't comprehend. You dealing on the left-hand side and that spirit bullshit, man, hey, the Lord will knock your ass off. You need the protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You want to be listening to him and trusting in him. You trusting in the vain idols is going to get you done up, man. Anyway. But it goes on to say, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. See, and that's going off into your Christmas. But what do people do? They throw that damn tree in their living room. Hook them damn lights up. You have houses burning down every damn year. The kids getting burnt up in the house. The motherfucking Christmas uh, gifts is smoking underneath the tree. Only thing left that only thing left might be a bike. <laughs> but the customs of the people are vain, man. Y'all believing in that shit, man? You want to? Hey, the Lord is about to. Hey, the Lord is doing a, a great work right now. Th that right there. Is the perfect example of the of the type of um a power that you're dealing with where the Lord will have you a spirit get on you and do the shit that she done. Because that's exactly what it was, matter of fact. Oh, you know what? By the spirit, let's go into Deuteronomy in um, 28, one of the curses. Because I did speak on that um slock here. I think I'll stand here in the garage since it's raining. But one of the um, curses is that wood and stone, that, 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 that damn cross with white Jesus. And a lot of our people are into um, Islam, which is that, that stone. See, these, these scriptures are real. Deuteronomy 28 and 36, the Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known and shall... And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. See? And this is all from disobedience. This all comes from, you know, not listening to what the Lord has to say. Now, don't get me wrong, it's prophecy as well, but our people, the Lord told us when we came out of Egypt with Moses, 
He said, don't do what these other nations are doing. Don't follow. When you look at the law, statutes, and commandments, everything that he told us not to do, thou shalt not, and all these different things, those were things that the other heathen nations were doing. Sleeping with um, 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 your dad, sleeping with your mom, you know, um, sleeping with your brother, or you, you know, them types of sexual um, um, hookups, you know, and, and worse, sleeping with animals, um, eating all kinds of abominable foods, uh, sacrificing babies to, you know, to, to, to um, elect and these different gods and things of that nature. See, and our people are in America today. And, and, and what you call an abortion clinic, that ain't no more than you sacrificing your child, your baby. That's idolatry. All those things, man. But anyway, wanted to touch on that real quick. I'm going to go into the Apocrypha in a second. Let's get a little bit more of this real quick. It says she was a popular astrologer influencer who went by the name of Danielle Oyota online. Okay, she had 106,000 followers. She said to wake up, the apoc apocalypse is near. And she's not a bad looking chick. That's probably why his ass was, um, hey, hey, the scriptures talks about, um, you know, not falling for the beauty of a woman, roughly paraphrasing. You, hey, uh, hey, there's some, some baddies out here. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but you have to have, and pray to Yahweh about Shimei Yahweh man, for the, 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 the endurance or the, the, you know, the spirit to avoid these motherfuckers, man. You know? Cause they can roll up on you, man, with this with, with this type of look. Cause she's not a bad looking chick. This motherfucker pretty as shit. <laughs> but she can roll up on you with this type of look. Got that body that's out of this world. And she's into them stars and astrology, and you already know a bunch of damn. But this chick comes with witchcraft, <laughs> right? It says three days later, hours before the eclipse was expected to occur over California, Johnson murdered two of her loved ones and tried to kill her oldest daughter before killing herself in an early morning massacre. Neither the self-described divine healer, see, how you a damn self-described divine healer and you killing, nor her birthday, nor her boyfriend had any documented history of domestic violence or cause to police leading the investigators to su suspect that the sprawling bloodbath was influenced by Johnson's crazed end of the world paranoia. Sources told the LA Times, Johnson urged her followers to protect themselves from the eclipse, which she dubbed the epitome of spiritual warfare. See, Johnson, who offers self-help and healing sessions online for just $2.99, $2.99, spew anti-Semitic posts and conspiracy theories about natural phenomena on X. She also likened the New Jersey earthquake to white supremacy and accused the government and media of trying to cover up what she feared was the impending apocalypse. These are all the... Okay, so this is what she said, I guess. They got it in all caps. These are all the ways they have been programming us with lies. Look at these to understand the agenda. This is real. This is spiritual warfare, she wrote. Wake up, wake up. The apocalypse is here. Everyone who has ears listen. Your time to choose what you believe is now. If you believe, a new world is possible for the people right now. Okay, there's a power in choice. There's, there is power in choice. Repost to make the choice for collected. And they got, uh, I don't know what picture that is. Whatever, anyway, it says the healer. Now, she mangled that damn car up, though. And she was pushing the Porsche Cayenne. And they was living in a pretty decent neighborhood. This wasn't like a... Uh, you know, living like Jake in the hood. Shit. They was living in, 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 you know, living in a nice spot. The healer, who also peddled R&B songs, was once a media darling who was profiled by Refinery29 and The Fader, both of which applauded her clairvoyant talent. See? Well, she wasn't clairvoyant enough to see that the shit that she was believing in was a complete damn lie. Johnson was uh, apparently... Last active on social media Sunday afternoon, roughly 12 hours before police say she stabbed her 29-year-old boyfriend, Jalen Allen Chaney, in the heart while he was on the couch of his luxury, of their luxury Woodland Hills apartment. See, it was in one of those luxury apartments, man. I think uh, one of the brothers, he was on um, the live yesterday or whatever and said that um, it was a nice, nice neighborhood or whatever. It said um, Dre lived, um, Dr. Dre lived in that area. What some shit like that. Anyway, evidence suggests she tried to drag the body out of the unit, but gave up and left his body in the kitchen. 
She then piled her two daughters into the Porsche Cayenne, which she drove through a security gate. And as she peeled away from the scene, okay, around 5 a.m., so this should happen in early in the morning, Johnson threw her nine-year-old daughter out of the car and onto the freeway while the girl clutched her eight-month-old baby sister, Authority said. The older child survived the fall and escaped the traffic, but the infant was found dead at the scene. So here you go. You're, you're a divine healer. Where's your motherly instincts? And then, you know, why, why wouldn't you want to just go ahead and just live through what the Lord is about to bring? Well, you don't believe in, in this. What do you, you know? Like, come on, bro. But see, we have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to, you know, even at the last millisecond, he's going to, you know, pull us up into them chariots, man. We have faith in that. You should have faith in that if you're here, man, to see it. You should have complete faith, man. If you don't have faith, pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for faith, man. You should have faith, man. We ain't, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, jumping into no damn cars and 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 and, and deleting people and, and throwing babies out of cars and all kinds of stupid ass shit. No, we're we're gonna watch this thing out. Even if we gotta catch the flame, shit, <laughs> watch it out. You would do that. Now she back in the spirit world. You know, but that hey, but but you know, it's gonna be rough for that nine year old that survived. That nine year old, hey, and, 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 and when the Lord comes, you know, hey, the Lord might have saved, saved, saved her just to save her, so to speak. You know, Johnson's body was found several miles away at five thirty a.m. inside a crushed car that had been driven into a tree at speeds topping 100 miles. Can you imagine what was going on through her fucking mind? You can't tell me those are not spirits, man. It was another two hours before police were called to the apartment where the violence broke out and pieced together the horrifying incident. Investigators found a trail of bloody footprints leading through the open door of the apartment, which was also littered with black feathers and tarot cards. There you go, see? Witchcraft. Them spirits, man, on her ass, man. Police initially said Cheney and Johnson were engaged in a verbal altercation when Johnson's picked up the knife around 3.40 a.m. I'm not sure how they know that. The partial eclipse was visible across California about seven hours later. It is believed the nine-year-old child, the sole survivor of the horrifying attack, had witnessed her mother slay Cheney. Johnson killed herself more than 30 miles south of the site of Cheney's murder. Investigators are still working to determine if the baby had died before being thrown from the car. Incredible. Got to go into no comments. I don't, we don't think we got to go into no comments on it. You already know people in there talking all kinds of shit. But let's go into the apocrypha though, because that goes off into those spirits of vengeance, man. You dealing with the, you dealing with them spirits, man. And you know a lot of our women have left the Christian church, so-called black women, they're into witchcraft now. That's a big thing too amongst our people. They into this bullshit. With some goddamn black feathers and goddamn tarot cards. Damn, damn hey, 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 them spirits, man. Hey, well, matter of fact, when it came to a hob, the Lord sent, um, um, you know, allowed uh, uh, the lion spirits, man, to um, to prophesy to that nigga, man. Let's get that real quick. I'll go back to the apocrypha in a sec. First Kings. Let's see here. This First Kings. Uh, Started like 19. First Kings 22 and 19. And he said, hear thou the word of the Lord. Let me start again. Okay. And he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. So the Lord, he has a right hand and he has a left hand side of spirits. And I'm going to go off into that in the Apocrypha where it talks about the spirits that he created for vengeance to appease his wrath. He was mad at this chick, man. She got judged real brutally, right? And that guy must have been wicked as hell, too, because the, hey, the scriptures talks about how the Lord will give a wicked woman to a wicked man, roughly paraphrasing. He probably had all kinds of opportunities to get the fuck away from her, too. I know he had to have seen something about her ass being wicked as hell. Anyway. It says, and the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at her mouth, Goliath? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. 
And there came forth the spirit and stood before the Lord and said, and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? So the Lord asking the spirit, okay, how you going to do it? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. See? So these Christian pastors, they don't bring um, stuff like this out in the church, man. You know, this, this, this is basically unheard of in a Christian church. Oh, not my God. He wouldn't send no lying spirit. And you go through the rest of the story, you'll see how Ahab caught it, man. The Lord set him up for, the, for, 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 you know, put a hit out on his ass, man. In the same way with this chick. The lying spirits. It was a lying spirit, basically, that came upon that, that, that chick that had her thinking that, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what that was, you know, damn demons whispering to her ass. Yeah, the world is going to end. The world is going to end. You know how crazy that bitch had to have? Man, come on, bro. That is some crazy shit. <laughs> it's lucky for the language, but hey, let's just be real here. That shit is retarded. That's, that's pretty. Yeah, only the Lord can do that. That's why the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That's why our people need to have a healthy fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because he's capable of whatever he wants to do. <laughs> you, you can't stop him. Okay, so let's get this. Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28. There be spirits. And this is also known as the book of Sirach. If you have the 1611 King James Bible, these are the, um, the books that the Protestants or the so-called white man took out of the Bible. But if you go to Borders bookstores or you can order them. You know, or you can order the single book, the red book, you know, but if you go and get a 1611 King James Bible, the Bible is it's the whole Bible with these books in there and they are canon. Right. Anyway, Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes and the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord created spirits for vengeance. Fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. And there you have it. You got spirits that are glad to get an assignment from the Lord to go forth and do people dirty. Even the baby, even the little baby that got tossed out of the car. That was the spirit of vengeance. As a matter of fact, let's get this as well. Because you have people, you know, what, what did that innocent baby do? Well, we don't know what she done. You know what I'm saying? We don't, you know, past life could have been whatever. But this is Job 4 and 7. It says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent or where were the righteous cut off? Even as, I've, even as I have seen they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. See? Now, we're not sure what she, she could have done something in her past life because that's reincarnation or regeneration is in the Bible. That's another lesson as well. Don't want to go over nobody's heads, but if you've got ears to hear, that's in the scriptures, man. Where she could have lived or, you know, done something really horrible in her past life. But that's not always the case because... There's a situation in the scriptures where the disciples ask the Lord, Yahweh, you know, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind. So why did the disciples ask him that? Because they knew that reincarnation re uh, existed. So they was asking him, did they parents sin? Did his parents sin? Or did he sin that he was born blind? So if he was just born, how could he have sinned? But the Lord, you know, he the Lord actually told him, you know, neither one of them had sinned. It was for the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But there are plenty of situations in the scriptures, like even the Lord told them, the, the disciples, that um, John the Baptist was Elijah back on the planet. He didn't remember it, you know, because the scripture says, you know, you don't remember your past life. Just think about if you remember every time you lived, you would be bugged out. Or you might be able to, to, to be able to avoid things or you may be, you know, you would be bugged out overall, <laughs> you know. But anyway, that's another lesson, though. You know what I'm saying? As far as the, the you know, you could say, well, the innocent baby, what did she do? Or the, or the nine year old. And, you know, the nine year old had to have been scraped up. You rolling from a damn moving car. That shit is not um, nothing um, um, light, man. And I'm talking about at 20 miles an hour. 
five miles an hour being thrown from a, from a moving car can fuck you up real bad. Two miles an hour. And they saying, you know, this she's speeding up the up the way, doing a hundred in the Porsche Cayenne. She's just all throttle. Ah man. Anyway. Let's get um Well, let's just get one more. We'll end out here. Let's get this first Samuel two, verse six. It says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and he lifteth up. So the Lord is the one that kills and make a lie. And there's another precept that goes with that. 32, De Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie by wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So it's the Lord. He's the one that kills and makes a lie. He was the one that day. Hey, he, he done the little nine, the little nine month old dirty too. See, the Lord is no respecter of persons, man. He just called, hey, when he wants that spirit back, he called that spirit back. It's nothing you can do about it. As a matter of fact, there's a scripture that talks about that, too. Let me see if I can get that real quick. Let me go into the blue letter real fast. I think it's, you know what? It might be Ecclesiastes. I think it's an eight and eight. It's a lot of y'all. Been a minute. Scriptures is beautiful, though, man. Yep, Ecclesiastes 8 and 8. There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit, neither hath the power in the day of death. And there is no discharge in that war, neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. So there's nothing you can do when the Lord wants that spirit back. It's a wrap. Nobody can stop it. Nobody can pay the Lord enough money. No one can beg the Lord enough. It's, you know, when he, when he, he, he places that judgment, those, those spirits of vengeance, Go forth to do that work. They, you see, the scripture says that they rejoice in it. They going straight forth. They, 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 they not telling the Lord, well, Lord, that's a nine month old. You know? Nah, they rejoice in getting that commandment and going forth and doing what they had done, man. So don't get it twisted with the Lord, man. The Lord is no, you know, no respect to a person. He will knock your ass off. And it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands. So the scriptures talks about how the Lord is terrible to um, the children of men, man. You know, so I'm going to end out there, man. Hey, it is what it is. Stay away from all these false ass religions. Stay away from all this, this idol worship, that Christmas, fucking Thanksgiving, uh, the 4th of July, your damn birthday. All that shit is wickedness, man. You know how many people die on birthdays having a damn birthday party and people get killed? How many people fucking die around the kitchen table eating some goddamn ham hocks and shit for Christmas? The greens. You want fucking to sit around and eat that plate of abominable food and, and, and their itis kick in. Niggas is aggravated. <laughs> you know, next week they planning a funeral. The family back together for a funeral. Thanksgiving. Easter. All that shit is idol worship, man. All these holidays of America is, 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 is a custom, vain customs. That's all that it is. The so-called so white man, hey, he believes in um, wickedness, man. We're not to do that. We're not to do that. And see, and, and what she was following in after is one of the old ways of eating. Those magicians, astrologers, scriptures talks about suffering out of wish to live. So the Lord knocked her ass off. Because that's overall what she pretty much was, a damn witch, a sorcerer, a sorceress. See, you're not supposed to be into none of that stuff. A lot of our people in the South, they enter all that voodoo and shit, trying to put a damn hex on somebody. They enter mediums, they call, they trying to call them um, spirits back from the spirit world and all this other shit. Hey, the Lord will deal with you. Y'all better leave that shit alone. <laughs> I don't know who who's listening to this lesson that may, you know, may be into some or if you've been into something like that and you into this truth, you need to repent. You come into this truth, man, anything that you can think on, if it pops into your mind about something that you was doing, you need to be repenting. I don't give a shit if it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago. If something coming to your mind that you remember you done, you need to be like, Lord, I slack you. Please have mercy on me. Please forgive me for what I done then and that damn time. See, when you first come into this truth, you have an overall repentance in mind. But there's, there will be days where something will remind you of something. 
Like, damn, I remember that. Yeah, I done broke. Wrong as hell. Yeah, I remember that. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I remember that. Lord, please forgive me. Have mercy on me. I knew no better. Please, you know, uh, 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 forgive me. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai for that. Please have mercy on me. You know, hey, you that, that's what you need to be doing. You got women out here that had all kinds of abortions. You need to be repenting for that, man. Men, you done paid for abortions. You need to be repenting for that. You know? Because that's basically, you know, giving your baby over to Malek, man. Passing the baby through the fire, so to speak, you know? That's wickedness. That's idolatry. And all of us, you know, need that mercy from Yahweh by Shimei man. So I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashallah.